in this video I'm gonna be sharing with you my thoughts and first impressions and kind of review on Home Chef. Home Chef is a lot like all those other subscription meal, weekly meals in a box that arrives at your doorstep. I was so excited when the folks at Home Chef reached out to me because you guys know if you've been watching my videos, I have been obsessed with this whole concept. You cannot beat the convenience of having your groceries delivered to you at your doorstep. Your meals are thought out, your ingredients are all in there, they're healthy, they're quick, they're really easy, they end up becoming favorites of mine, so I'm so excited to try this service through a different brand because they are all kind of different and they're all kind of unique in their own special way. I have been a huge fan of HelloFresh and I've kind of been really loyal to them for a long time. Wasn't the biggest fan of Blue Apron and I'll put my review below so you can see kind of my comparison. I'm really excited about Home Chef. The one thing off the bat that I already can tell you how much I love without even trying anything is that you have the option to pick your meals. With HelloFresh, they're kind of changing it now, but for a long time you just pick if you wanted classic or vegetarian, and I think that's how a lot of them start out. But with Home Chef, you actually can do a little bit of both, or you can do all of one or all of the other. Basically, you're kind of given the meals when you first sign up, and then you have complete control as to if you want to switch one out or one you don't really like or one that you see that you really want to try. They're all there for you. I'd say you get about 10 different options. And so in this box, I chose a vegetarian. I chose two vegetarians, and I did choose a chicken dish just because my daughter really likes chicken, and I'll eat it once in a while, and I look the recipe on the website looked really great. So I didn't have to go all vegetarian or all meat, fish, stuff like that. I really could cater it to what I wanted to make. I love that everything in this box is not a surprise to me. I know the recipes in here are typical recipes that I would make or want to try for myself. It's not like I'm getting a recipe that I know I'm really not a fan of or won't enjoy. So I love that you have total control over that. It's priced pretty even with the other subscription boxes out there. It just depends if you want vegetarian or classic, if you want it for two people, for four people, things like that, details like that all kind of go into the price. But this box that I chose was $59.70, which is right on track with what I've been paying for HelloFresh and what I would pay for Blue Apron if I picked similar meals. You can set up how often you want it. It automatically sets you up to do every week, but you can completely control that and skip a week or put it on pause if you need. If you're traveling, going on vacation, you're going to be away. But I'm going to dive in. I'm going to show you how it came. It just arrived today. I'm going to show you all how it's packaged and what's included. And then I'm going to take you through each meal as I make them throughout the week and let you know my thoughts. Okay, so this is what the box looks like. I'm going to open it up. There is padding. Okay, it's kind of like a cooler. Like it's cushion box cushion padding around everything and there's a little binder. It's fancy. Let's just see. I love this because then you can keep the recipes that you really like. And the three recipes that we're going to make are salmon crusted with everything bagel seasoning, which is awesome. Fried goat cheese and arugula salad. This is the one I'm most excited for. And seared chicken and parmesan lemon orzo. The recipes look beautiful. They're really bright and colorful. On the front of each is the nutrition, the overview of giving you the time, if it's an easy or more difficult. There's easy, intermediate, and easy. Um, the best day to cook by, if it's mild or spicy. And then dietary, it tells you as well. So for example, the salmon is low calorie, low carb, gluten-free, nut-free, soy-free. The fried goat cheese and arugula, there's nothing on the dietary, 25 minutes, intermediate, and best to cook by day seven. I like that they give you the days to cook by, so then you can kind of line them up so you know when they'll be the most fresh. They also give you the nutrition, calories, carbs, fat, protein, sodium per serving. And then on the back, really beautiful pictures again with directions right next to it. And then there is a little extra information along the side giving you all the ingredients, what you need in addition to, like what you need to have on hand that's not included in the box, the equipment, and a did you know fact, which is great. I'm just looking on each of these. The equipment is minimal. Like on this one, all it is is a large pan on the chicken. Oh, let's see how they come packaged. This is what it looks like. So this is, oh, I love this. Okay, so each meal is prepackaged in a bag. So this is salmon crusted with everything bagel seasoning, 
I love this, it's super convenient because you can just pull out the meal that you wanna make and you don't have to go searching all over your fridge for the different ingredients. So again, seared chicken and Parmesan orzo. And finally, the fried goat cheese and arugula salad. So I'll get to show you within each bag how everything is packaged within each meal, but I just wanted to show you on this part of the video how everything is packaged straight out of the straight out of the gate. On the screen. We're good. Okay, so today I made the fried goat cheese and arugula salad. I actually made it for lunch. I think it turned out pretty good. I haven't tried it yet. But it was really easy. The amount of ingredients were really minimal, and I just wanted to show you how they came packaged. The panko came sealed, then the pecans came sealed, and then they actually gave you the perfect serving of vinegar and liquid egg whites, which both came in little bottles. One thing that was different with Home Chef is they gave you the butter. The other ones that I've tried in the past, they always expect you to have the butter. I did have to use my own olive oil, but other than that, there was nothing else that I needed to grab from my pantry, which was really great. This meal looks like it's definitely right up my alley. I made enough for two people, perfect little portion control, and everything I cleaned up and threw in this plastic bag. So, so cleanup was a breeze, meal looks really good, and it was really easy to follow. It was exactly the same style that I'm used to, so it's, that was really helpful. Tonight we made the salmon crescent with everything bagel seasoning. I think it looks pretty good. Check it out. We actually stretched the meal to fit um, two more mouths, which was really easy to do. They actually give you the recipe to make the everything bagel seasoning, which was really helpful. And we also added rice, just for a little bit extra on the side. The packaging, again, was really convenient. The chives came in a little plastic container, capers. Um, everything was sealed, and then they did give us little packets of the Dijon mustard. So this came together really quickly. It was super easy, and it looks like it's going to be really yummy. And the final meal was the chicken and orzo with spinach and tomatoes. It ended up turning out delicious. It made a lot. And it came together very quickly with very, very minimal cleanup because I only had to use one pan, which was pretty awesome. Overall, I am really, really happy, very impressed with Home Chef. I will definitely be trying them again. I really, really enjoyed the meals. I loved how the recipes were set up. It's exactly the same price, pretty much, as what I'm used to. And I love that you have a variety and you kind of have like a, a choice. You have complete control over it. None of the produce came spoiled. None of the ingredients were bad. Everything was really great. Everything was super easy to make, simple to put together. I know some of them were... I think one of them was like an intermediate meal, but I really felt like they were all very, very simple and doable for anyone, no matter how busy you are. I hope you found it helpful. If you want to check out Home Chef, I'll put a link to it below. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. This has been so great for my skin, and I think this has been why these are now scars and not full-on inflamed, inflamed breakouts. These are by Sunday Riley.